everyone, I am Evil Toad, and welcome back to Elden Ring Let's Play. Uh, it's been a long time since I've uh, <laughs> recorded any episodes for this, and I feel bad about that. But uh, there's a combination of I was playing a few games and got really, really sucked into them, and also was just having some issues with mental health and. Didn't wanna, didn't wanna record any episodes that I wasn't putting my heart into. But I'm back now, and this series is gonna continue. I've made some decisions in the meantime. Uh, originally, I said I was gonna try to do all 165 bosses in the game, and I've changed my mind on that because I, there are still two bosses I don't know where they are. And also, that's just a pain in the ass, because that means I'll have to beat the death right birds, and all the death birds, which I fucking hate with a passion, especially the death right bird in the Consecrated Snowfield, which is the only boss in my first playthrough that I did not beat legitimately. I literally led him up the cliff next to where you fight him, and had him jump off after me, and kill himself. So, I am going to be playing through all the main bosses, and all the all the major bosses, I should say. So, like, I'm going to do um, Placidious Axe, and, uh, you know, I'm obviously going to do Loretta and Melania, because, well, Melania is my favorite boss in FromSoft. Actually, honestly, probably my favorite boss in any game ever. <laughs> it's so much fun. There's no other boss I can think of other than maybe Slave Knight Gale from Dark Souls 3 that I would be willing to put 300 something consecutive attempts into without beating. And also, I mean, if you include my previous playthrough, since I'd never beaten her um, completely solo before, it was like over 500 total attempts, and not once did I ever get like to the point where I didn't want to play. There were a few times where I had to stop. Uh, in my the playthrough I was doing where I beat her because you know when you have struggled with the boss for a while and you kind of you kind of lose it I don't mean like your mind I mean like you kind of lose you know your you start to degrade I think it would be the right way to say it um, where you just you start doing worse and worse and you know that happened a couple times but I was always right back to it as soon as I felt like I was doing better. So I am just going to try and get to the end of the game here and beat all the major bosses. Uh, so who I still have left would be uh, Godskin. <laughs> Damn it, Godskin duo. Unfortunately, um, Malakath, uh, Placidy Sax, obviously. Um, Melania, Loretta, because you have to beat Loretta to get to Melania, uh, Moog, and that might be it. Oh, obviously there's, you know, the bosses in Langdale, Ashen Capital, Gideon, Horalu, and Radagon, and Elden Beast. So, honestly, not a whole lot, but I'm excited to do them because I like, I love all those bosses, except Gideon. Fuck Gideon. <laughs> And also Loretta, but I don't have as much of an issue with Loretta. Anyway, let's talk to Melina. Get sent to f crumbling firm Azula. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? I'm ready. Well. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. I was originally going to do um, Moog the Omen, but I don't want to go through the sewers again. And also, that boss fight is lame, because it takes one of the game's best bosses and just does a boring, long version of his first phase. When the second phase is what makes that fight. Oh, and Elden Ring won Game of the Year at the Game Awards, so congratulations to the FromSoft team and everyone involved in it. Uh, you earned it. You really did. 
This is a fantastic game and could not be happier for it winning game of the year. Notice that Melina is already burned. I would love to get more backstory on her in any DLC we get. sake of the new lord. Thank you for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside Flay shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. Goodbye, Melina. Very emotional scene. Which there's plenty of in this game. Anyway, some of the games I was playing uh, in the interim was Persona 5, uh, which I enjoyed so much that I bought another copy of in the Royal version and played through all of that again and the Royal content. And then God of War Ragnarok, which was the most nominated game at the Game Awards and won a shit ton of them and those were very well deserved too. Uh, best narrative, they definitely earned that one. It was a fantastic story, fantastic game. And uh, if it were in most other years, I think it would have been deserving a Game of the Year, but since it came out in the same year as Elden Ring, it, you know, I think the right game won Game of the Year. I think they got most of the awards right. Uh, I think Elden Ring should have won best score over Ragnarok, but, you know, I'm not... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whoops. I, uh... Not a, not a great way to start. Uh, there's been a couple of updates to the game since I last played, um, and I'm wondering if there's going to be anything noticeable going through Farrah Missoula and uh, the Halig tree. <laughs> that was so stupid. That's the freaking second time in an episode I've been just like casually going towards something that's not hard to get to and then died. For any of you who remember, I don't remember which episode it was, I think maybe 47 or 48 where I was uh, going down to get the Dark Moon Great Sword and just fell to my death. <laughs> yeah, uh, good to s glad to see that uh, I haven't haven't lost it in the time in the time that it's been since I last played. Ow! D shit! I'm <laughs> I haven't played a FromSoft game in a minute, so. <laughs> been a minute since I played a FromSoft game, so I, uh, need to get the controls back down. <laughs> shit. I was acting like Kratos. They were like, oh, shit, gotta push X to avoid. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. If you noticed at the beginning when I was, like, swinging my sword randomly, it's because I was trying to remember what button was, uh, sprint. And, yeah. That's, uh, damn it. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but uh, bear with me, please. We'll uh, we'll be there in, in a bit. <laughs> oh shit! I almost fell off again. 
All right, let's uh, let's give this another go. Another go against the beastmen of Faramazula. Uh, there it is. Oh, hey. Gotcha, bitch. Aha! Uh, I don't know if these guys are gonna aggro on me when I get close enough. Or if they're just... That looks like they're just gonna stay there eating. Bye-bye. Well, that wasn't hard. I'm just dumb. Why do we get a Sanctuary Stone? Does anyone actually know what a Sanctuary Stone does? Because I have played through the game multiple times now and have no clue. Hey, bud. Holy crap! Oh! I forgot they can do that. Yeah, Ragnarok's combat was <laughs> more forgiving <laughs> than <laughs> Elden Ring's. Gotta remember that. Touch the grace. Go touch grace. What is that? Is that why uh, touch grass became a thing this year? Or yeah, it was this year. Forgot it's still 2022. Man, it's almost 2023. That's insane. I'm not even gonna fucking bother with this dragon because fighting these guys sucks. Hey, bud. What's up? You ripped off, uh, what, what's his fucking name? Um, Agheel. Agheel. Yeah, no. Bye. I'm, uh, just gonna take my little feetsies and run off. I don't know why I said that. Forgive me, sometimes I say strange things for no reason. I should, can I level up? Oh, freaking hell yeah, I can. Um, let's see. Up my intelligence. So it improves my attack power with my weapon. wonder if I have any, uh, uh, what do you call them? Runes. <clears throat> uh, I have three remembrances, okay. <clears throat> Including more dots. That was a while ago. I should... Why haven't I used those yet? Holy shit! I have so many! Let's just, uh... Shit, how do I do this? Oh, there it is. Forgive me, I'm <laughs> relearning everything. <laughs> Man, I'm really glad to be back in this game. It's, it's so much fun. Nope, not that. That. Let's do some leveling, baby. Oh, that's all of them. Shit. Uh, square. Yes, okay. Eat the runes. Eat them. I mean, if you don't look and see what they're actually doing, it does look like you're eating them. <laughs> oh, even then, it looks like you're eating them. Oh. Nom. 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 Look at all that gold. Was I intending to get something with those remembrances? I don't think I was. I think I just wasn't using them. I certainly don't want anything from the fire giant. That's kind of useless. Uh, nope, wrong button. Uh, I definitely don't want to use Morgoth's sword. Just because it's not as awesome as it, as I feel like it was supposed to be. And then Fortisax, I think the only thing you get from him is his glaive or um, death lightning, which I wouldn't use because, you know, death lightning seems like it's more of a PvP item, honestly. 
Alright, let's see what I can get with this. Seems four levels is a good estimate. And I'm going to put them all into intelligence. Yep, four levels. Four levels and very much not enough to try and get a fifth. <laughs> Alright. How are my flasks allocated? Twelve to zero. Seems about right. No sacred tears. I think it gives you a... Uh, one of those glowy things by it. Um, great runes. Do I have any? No. No. <laughs> Damn it. I don't have any rune arcs. That sucks. I th if I recall, I used them all against. Was it Fortisax? I don't quite remember. Shit, I mean, <laughs> damn it! That was the worst thing that could have happened. Does that swing fast? Oh, shit! Does that swing faster than it used to? Yeah, that's definitely faster than it used to be. Huh, that must have been one of the things in one of the updates. Anyway... And my health bar. <laughs> Why does it look so small? Oh, no, don't. You don't. You stay there. Turn around. I'm gonna hide behind this pillar. In case he comes too close. I'm gonna sneak up on you. Sneaky! You don't even use that sword. Ah! Shield! Why did I call it a sword? Hey, he didn't even use the shield. You think he'd use it, because, you know, it's a shield. I missed! But he didn't react, so I guess all is well. Did I just poise through that bite? It uh, looks like I did. Ha! Eat shit! <sighs> if I remember the rules I set for myself, I'm allowed to use, um... I'm allowing myself to use, uh... What, what do you, what are they called? Um, Spirit Summons. Mimic tier for God's Good Duo, but I'm gonna try it without it first. Uh, and I'm gonna put like, m maybe like, eight or nine attempts in before I do a spirit summon, just because I'm gonna need to get used to the game again. And God's Can Duo might be the worst possible boss <laughs> to face for doing that. Alright, touch the grace. You fuck off. Goodbye. Ah! Still trying to freaking Kratos my way out of things. <laughs> um, let's just fill my flasks up. And, uh, yeah. Let's go from there. Oh, a Somerstone Miner's Bell Bearing. What? Is my Moonlight Greatsword all the way level up? It is not. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was. Anyway, Snow Witch set. Just gotta remember everything I've got on. Increases stamina recovery speed. What the fuck? Where did that come from? I have four sacrificial twigs, damn. Uh, looks like I've got everything I want. By the way, Faramazula is my favorite area in this game. It is freaking beautiful. And the tornadoes is so cool.
Gosh. I love the, like, little dragons flying around. It reminds me of, uh... I can't remember what the place is called, but it's in Dark Souls 2, uh, where there's all the dragons flying around, but it looks even cooler. This game did take a lot from Dark Souls 2, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, I guess that makes sense since Tony Mora was a co-director. And he definitely got some redemption here in this one. I'm not saying Dark Souls 2 is a bad game, I'm saying in the FromSoft, in the grand scheme of the FromSoft library, it's the weakest one. Um, especially when you take into account Scholar of the First Sin, where they added so many unnecessary gank areas. It, ugh. I just think of that one area in Drong Lake where there's like six ruin sentinels in one room and it was a fucking nightmare. Oh, hey. What are you doing up there? Um, let's try not to die here. And run! Because fuck the bone ones. They're a pain in the ass. Ow. I just got a crossbow bolt to the face. <gasps> Almost jumped to my death, but saved it at the last second. Alright. Can't remember if I want to go down that hole or not. I do not yet. I want to get this first. Somber smithing stone. There we go. Alright, I'm going to call that an episode. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.